North Little Rock putting a cap on vape shops in residential neighborhoods. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Craig O'Neill. Faith has the night off. A new ordinance passed this week limits where new vape stores can open, but it's not lights out for the ones already in business. With a new vape shop headed to Park Hill neighborhood, we sent Sarah Bakowitz over to talk with Mayor Hartwig about how residents are reacting to this. Sarah? Yeah, Craig, Mayor Hartwick told me that this comes as an update to an ordinance from about a decade ago about tobacco sales. The city attorney explained Monday that vape shops fall under a different category and can't be kicked out of residential neighborhoods where they already are, but can now be regulated moving forward. Dave Larson owns Angry Dave's Bike Shop in the Park Hill neighborhood of North Little Rock. And when it comes to his new neighbors, Dave is, well, angry. The lighting on it is hideous. The uh, clientele is not anything that would be interested in coming over here. VIP Smoke Shop opened up this month, and after some pushback from residents like Dave, on Monday, North Little Rock put restrictions on new vape shops coming to town. We came up with an overlay plan and kind of had a vision of where we wanted to see Park Hill go, and that is exactly the type of store we did not want in here. The new ordinance bans vape shops from residential areas and 1500 feet from schools and places of worship. This new regulation covers e-cigarettes, tobacco, uh, cigars, whatever. It, can, it, it covers the whole gambit. So anybody else coming up there, it's not going to be allowed. And because vape and tobacco shops are classified differently, Hartwick says the original tobacco restrictions from about a decade ago won't apply to vape shops already open. It's going to be allowed right now just because more or less when they did that or it's back like to say 10 years ago. Didn't even know what those things were, but vape shops will have to sell less than 50% of tobacco products to stay. When you monitor it, you got to look at how the taxes are on cigarettes and vaping and cigars. So they all have a different tax. So we'll try to monitor it that way to see he doesn't go over that percentage of what's what's lawful. As for the ones sticking around, they still grind Dave's gears. We're not done by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I don't know what we can do about this one, but we have stopped any more from coming in. I did visit the new VIP smoke shop today, and while they didn't want to talk on camera, employees say they view themselves as a community store, just like any other local shop.